this particular binary numbers enter into your chip or enter into your chip layout and accordingly the functions are getting performed over here and you will see the stopwatch behaving in the way it is expected to behave so the algorithm will look something like this you have the main program through which you pass the initial number and the final number final count another little circuit that we can compose is a, a very fundamental building block that's worth talking about it's called a multiplexer so this is one way to implement the multiplexer circuit so if we're going to run this calculator in a high frequency circuit we might need two cycles to perform the operation just you'll notice here that risk 5 is defined such that each of the fields in the instruction is always coming from the same place regardless of the instruction type you'll modify the pc mux here to take this branch target as an input next step here is to actually distribute the logic the way we want it in our pipeline all right so we're still operating with the three cycle cadence okay um, now back to our decode logic we have so far coded up the decode for subset of instructions and now we'll just go in and fill out the decode for the remaining instructions all right we're in the home stretch here uh, there's only one feature left to implement before you've got your complete cpu core and that is jumps well you did it Congratulations, you made it all the way through the course. You developed your very own RISC-V core.